Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 5 Mark III and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now you can obviously see that the phone I have right over here is locked and I could unlock it using the pattern that was previously used or Google account. And you also have this tiny little icon right over here that basically signifies it. And for some reason it just gave me a pop up that will shut off even though I literally stopped interacting with it. Anyway, so uh, no doubt the phone I have is locked. So to get started, you will want to number one, connect to Wi-Fi, which as you can see, I am connected. And once you have connected to it, you can back up to the first page and you will need a SIM card for this. So just grab one. Now that SIM card does need to have a pin on it, uh, unfortunately, so you need to set up some kind of pin on a different device. Hopefully you have uh, other device that you can use to do that. Uh, and additionally, I'll mention that setting up a pin on a SIM card, the by default SIM cards do have a pin, but if you decided to get rid of it, you need to set one up. And on different devices, the option for setting it up is like in different places. So I do recommend you probably to search it online uh, on the device that you will be using to do it. Uh, where that option is because it is a necessity to have a pin on it which you'll see in a second why so let's pop that sim card in which actually i don't need this it's a two less option so just using a fingernail we can put pull that out go pop the sim card on here insert it back into the device And it shows us the pin option right here to insert it. So I'm gonna confirm my pin. And it brings this option right over here. What you want to do is just drag that option down. As you can see, it starts like expanding. And when you let go, it should give us, there we go, manage option. So you wanna click on that. And this will take us to, I believe this is, like what? Oh, just manage for the notifications. So, from here, we're gonna select see all from last seven days. And from there, we're gonna tap on the phone icon. Then you wanna tap on this icon right here. And select open. And in here, tap on the dialer and dial in any kind of number. It does not need to be real. There we go, as you can see, it can be anything. From there, you wanna select send a message type in and here youtube.com additionally i'll mention that the sim card in here does not need to be actually able to send that message the reason you only wanted that sim card is to access the lag screen so we can navigate in here and i believe we can actually remove it if you're afraid of sending a random message to some stranger so I can remove this and it should still work. Oops, just press something, there we go. So as you can see, uh, I have no SIM card right now and I'm gonna select send. And there we go, it sends it, or at least tries to, but it doesn't matter because it gives us this link right here which we can interact with. There we go, so make sure you actually tap on the link. And once we're in here, I'm gonna tap on accounts or account icon and from there we're gonna navigate to settings then we're gonna select about and youtube terms of service i believe or google terms or policy privacy my bad so as you've seen second option so google privacy policy select accept and continue and no thanks in here and on the browser search bar you want to type in hard reset that info slash bypass now i will write it down and if you need a moment to basically write it down yourself do pause the video and i did misspell it right now so i'm gonna fix it up Now it's correct. So as you can see, now it will be the time to pause. Uh, this is the link that you want to type in. 
And once you're on here, you want to scroll down or consent first and then scroll down to settings application. Click on it and this will open up obviously our settings. And in here, we're going to navigate to accounts. Or not, my bad, not accounts, uh, accessibility. So accessibility right below accounts. And we're going to select the accessibility menu right over here. Gonna enable it, select allow, and okay. As you can see, it brings out brings this little guy right here, which is what we're looking for. So once you have enabled that, we're gonna now go back and we're gonna go to apps and notifications right over here. I'm gonna select see all 36 apps. Then you wanna tap on the three dots and select show system. And in here, we're gonna start off with Android setup which should be somewhere at the top and we have two of them so we're gonna i'm gonna start off with the first one i'm gonna select disable disable app and then for stop and okay so once you have disabled the first one i go back there we go and we're gonna select the second one disable disable app and for stop and okay and let's go back and from here we're gonna scroll down to google play services And here it is, Google Play Services. Click on it, disable, disable app, first stop, and okay. And once you have done so, you now want to back out to the setup screen. There we go. And from here, we're gonna go through the setup. Quickly make sure. So right now, normally we're supposed to press on the button. I did back out, which uh, might make this easier, but I guess I'll find out. So what you normally do is click on this icon, select assistant, select settings, and then enable when you see that spinning little Google thing looking for updates. Uh, now I did back out, which brings me this option right here, set up offline, and I'm gonna check out if this will actually work, but it looks like it does not. So it brings me back to the uh, place that you are anyway. So select assistant, settings. Now, when it's actually searching for updates, it's not gonna stay open like it did for me the moment before. So uh, you will need to repeat this probably several times. We'll see how many times it will take me. But you select the assistant and settings once it actually shows up. And then enable, which was right here. And as you can see, it just, there we go. Took me about four tries. Uh, I'll be honest, sometimes it takes me less tries. Sometimes it takes me about 30 tries to get it. Uh, it has no rule to it. So if you can't get it enabled, just keep on trying. Uh, you're most likely doing everything fine. Uh, just the phone doesn't really want to cooperate. So keep on going uh, till you manage to actually press that button and it will function. So enable it. Once you have enabled that, you can go back. And as you can see, it just skips uh, looking for updates and goes to the next page, which is just Google services. So from here, we can finish up the setup of the device. So just skip everything that you can. Once you gain access to your home screen, from here you want to navigate to settings again. Simply tap on the settings, scroll all the way down to system, and then select advanced, reset options, erase all data factor reset, erase all data at the bottom, and again erase all data right here. Now, I will not be pressing this button just because uh, it's going to waste your time. I uh, don't really plan to record this. That is 
because honestly once you press on this button it goes to a factory reset of the device and brings you back to the setup screen. Now at that point the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up however you like and most likely you already know how to set up your device. So past, me, past pressing this button there is no additional information that I'll bring to you and thus just there's no real point to actually record this. So yeah, that is basically how you'd bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.